All right, day six. End of day six, everybody's starting to clean up. Houston. Hello. What'd you find in your square today? Oh, you know, very important stuff, but uh, we didn't want to make people feel bad. Really? Yeah. So. Not no Some ancient dirt. Ancient dirt, ancient stones. Awesome. Sounds good. Hey Luke. Hey. Anything fascinating in your square today? Rocks. Rocks. It's a pretty rocking square, huh? Oh yeah. Awesome. Rockefeller. Over here we had uh, shoot, what did we find in this square today that was really fascinating? Yeah, we got the plaster wall, but there was something else, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh bloody Mary. We're keeping uncovering some interesting features of this room, and over here they found a rolling stone, um, which, where is it? That one there, uh, that they would use to roll the roof flat, keep their roof from leaking. So that's kind of neat. And uh, they've continued the excavations over here. They've managed to excavate a little, what they think may be some sort of Standing stone, room, I don't know, it's kind of cool. We don't know what's going on in the square yet. But it's interesting. John, anything, any comments on this square? They never know what's going on in the square. Okay, they never <laughs> know what's going on in the square. It changes every 10 minutes. You have a doorway like... now, though. You have a doorway, where is it? Okay. Actually, probably works. It looks so clean. Hmm. Awesome. It's a square. So as you can see, the squares have gotten deeper and deeper and deeper, and we're having to climb in and out of them. It's getting harder and harder. Water break, last one for today. Uh, I didn't have a lot to clean up today because, in truth, I was doing a lot of detail work on this taboon over here. Let's go over and show it off here. It's hot today. So this is the pottery that I pulled out of the taboon. We got a lot of really big pieces in here. Um, Hellenistic pottery, thin, very fine pottery. It's got some designs on it. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer because we're looking for Iron Age. But this is what's left of the taboon that I showed you this morning that I excavated. Um, we had some trouble with it because we thought that there was a floor and then I discovered more pottery under the pottery that we thought was on the floor. and so. It was a little of a pain to excavate, and this is the one that uh, Josh was excavating this morning. The weird thing about this one is if you look down here, you can see this here is a second taboon wall, possibly, or some they made maybe they made a shelf out of this area, or possibly uh, even one theory I heard was that this is one taboon, and that an earthquake broke out and shifted this all this way, and that's why you have this rock over here intruding in, but. Uh, that was kind of rejected. Uh, Dr. Hazel said he didn't really care for that theory put forward by one of the square supervisors, but uh, we clearly have some sort of second taboon or something like that going on down there. And it's, it's strange, so I don't know if they're going to do any more excavating on that or not. Marcia, tell us about your taboon. This is the last one we excavated today. Yeah, it, it's very interesting that what we're digging up is ash. I don't know if you mentioned that. But no, I didn't. It's very, very fine, and it coats us just like if we were playing in ash at home. See, I didn't find any ash in mine at all. Oh, mine's because... almost all ash. That's what this, that's kind of, it's just so fine. It's yeah. Real really... fine stuff, okay? Yep. Well, I think we've got bedrock here. Got a big rock here. We're not sure what, what, uh, it doesn't seem to be loose. Yeah. And uh, we finally came down to a uh, rock at the bottom, down oh, here. Oh, no joke. Yeah. And so what I've been asked to do is to clarify the brick on the taboon around the outside for photo photos. Okay. So we're just going to so picture I've been, it. I've been cleaning up the sides. Yeah. I first swept out the outside and then now I'm cleaning up the inside for the pictures and then All right. we're done. And uh, Marcia's taboon is the only one that produced uh, olive pits. Uh, quite a few. Yeah, like uh, five. 
for. Yeah, which is really cool because you can use those to date uh, the, the pit. That's right. Yeah, we got them whole. Yeah, they just crumble so easily. Yeah, they do. Anyways, thank you very much, Marcia. You're welcome. So that is day five. I'm going to pick up my pottery bucket, dump my last bucket that you can see there that's got a lot of sweepings in it, and then I guess I'll run around and help other people pick up.